Reports are essential for helping IT administrators and InfoSec teams identify the most common vulnerabilities in their organization. After security policies have been configured, the Jamf Security Cloud portal now has data we can use to view reports. My name is Jeremy, and welcome to Jamf Security Cloud Reports. There are six security reports we can view within the Jamf Security Cloud portal. Threat view, device view, vulnerability management, app insights, Miriam analytics, and event log. Let's start with the Threat View report by navigating to Reports, Security, Threat View. At the top of the Threat View report is a Threat Overview, which indicates the total number of devices that have encountered high, medium, and low risk threats. The same Threat Overview statistics also appear as a donut chart showing the risk scores in terms of percentages. In the top right, we can see the number of blocked threat events and the overall number of threat events that were detected. The column on the left lists open threats pending administrative review at the top and secured threats at the bottom. Open threats are listed in order of high, medium, and low risk. If we click the Attack Vector button, all threats are organized by category with high risk events still appearing at the top of each. We can also search for a specific threat using the Threat Category field. Select a threat from the column on the left to show additional details about it on the right, such as threat severity, name, and number of impacted devices. Click the plus button to the left of the severity score to show devices that have encountered the threat. To the right of a specific device, we can click the quantity of events to view the event log for the selected threat on that device. We'll revisit the event log later, but next let's select Device View in the sidebar to take a look at that report. While the Threat View called attention to threat categories putting an organization at high risk, the Device View focuses on specific devices that are at highest risk. In the top left, we have the number of devices with high, medium, and low risk profiles, along with the number of devices that are secure. This information also appears as percentages in a donut chart in the center and a line graph for the past month on the right. Individual devices are organized by their risk status on the left, with high-risk devices at the top. We can search for a specific user or device using the search field. Select an at-risk device to show the open threats currently impacting it. Click Learn More to the right of a threat for its description and steps for remediation. When done, click Close. We can also click Show Archived Threats to see the threats previously reported but no longer impacting the device. Now let's select Vulnerability Management in the sidebar to move on to that report. The Vulnerability Management report allows IT administrators and InfoSec teams to focus on manageable vulnerabilities that threaten the organization's overall security posture instead of general risks. In the top left, we have a donut chart showing the percentage of devices at each vulnerability severity score and the average severity score in the center of it. This score uses the Common Vulnerability Scoring System, or CVSS, developed by the National Institute of Standards and Technology, or NIST, and ranges from 0 to 10, with 0 being no vulnerabilities and 10 being critical. To the right is a line graph showing the quantity of vulnerable devices per day over the last month. Below is the list of devices being impacted by one or more vulnerabilities. We can click Vulnerabilities to see a list of vulnerabilities instead of devices, or click Software to see which applications or operating systems have vulnerabilities detected. Next, let's select App Insights in the sidebar to view that report. The App Insights report provides a colorful overview of the apps installed across the organization, sorted by platform and risk level. App Insights can be used to learn more about the applications that are installed on your users' devices. Total and average application stats are in the section across the top. Below those, we have App Insights, which show us a list of the top apps installed over the last seven days, a donut chart with the percentage of apps installed based on category, and risk level metrics showing the number of apps installed with a high, medium, or low risk level. 
Under that, we have an application list to provide IT administrators and InfoSec teams insight into the apps installed across the organization. To the left, we have filtering tools to adjust the application list to a specific set of criteria, such as an app name, identifier, platform or operating system, threat category, and more. For example, I'm choosing iOS, iPadOS, or VisionOS and clicking Apply. Notice now the application list only includes Apple operating systems. Now let's select Miriam Analytics in the sidebar to look at that report briefly. Miriam stands for Machine Intelligence, Real-Time Insights, and Analytics Machine. Miriam is Jamf's machine learning and mobile threat intelligence engine that analyzes information gathered online to identify threats. Miriam Analytics is a separate web page that provides InfoSec teams with information on the types of threats Miriam has discovered in the past 12 months, like phishing links and risky apps. Select a link or app to see more information about how Miriam determined its risk score. When finished, click Return to the console in the top right or click the back button in your browser to return to the Jamf Security Cloud portal. Lastly, let's select Event Log under Reports, Security in the sidebar to view that report. The Event Log provides a chronological timeline of threats that devices have encountered across the organization. We see the date and time the event took place, the threat severity level, a description of the threat, the event type, action taken against the threat, the user impacted, and the device type. We can filter the report by selecting an alternative date range, specific description, select severity scores, or event actions. Once the report criteria is customized, click Apply. If you want to export this report, click the vertical ellipsis button in the top right of the event log table, then choose Create Export. Select your filtering criteria and click Save. After the export is generated, click the Report Exports button in the top right and select Ready to Download. The report downloads as a CSV file to your computer. If your organization is interested in automatically exporting Jamf Security Cloud event log data to a Security Information and Event Management or SIM solution or other systems, check out the links in the resources to learn more about data streams. With all of the reporting tools available in the Jamf Security Cloud portal and the ability to export that data, InfoSec teams have plenty of information to help assess the security risks to their organization. That's all for this video on Jamf Security Cloud reports. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in another video.